Thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience. I always call my mom after the game, so she's pretty fired up. So apologize for that. Um, again, really proud of our guys. Go on the road against a, an excellent football team like USC. Uh, we start a little bit slow, but once we got going, we really got going. Played with a lot of emotion and passion, sometimes too much, but uh, found a way to overcome some of those self-inflicted uh, issues and uh, play a really good football game. I think it's everything. I think it's development over time, familiarity. You know, we now have our coaching staff together for two consecutive years. You know, the involvement of the offense and the defense and special teams as well. You know, um, we've been training our guys to develop a, a mental toughness, so to speak, to be able to go on the road and be able to take on really good football teams and tough environments because it had been an issue, right? If you look at you know, the past of our football program, that's, that's kind of been the tough thing. And um, it was a huge point of emphasis, and guys have been working on it, and we're starting to get some much better results. Third row to your left, Ryan. Mario, what was going through your head when you saw Justin laying there, and what kind of relief was it for him to come back and put those daggers to the job? Well, when I saw the play, and I didn't think he took a, um, I would say, a serious injury type of hit. You could tell it was at the thigh level. But those things hurt now, I mean, because, I mean, you know, nowadays, you've seen the pants, I mean, the thigh pads are really, really small. They don't cover much, and he took a direct shot right on there um, on an empty, protect. well, actually, it's an empty slash screen protection, and um, I felt like just talking to him when he was on the field that he was going to be okay, but uh, never, never a happy moment when, when any one of your players is down on the ground, so I was happy to see him come back and perform the way he did. I don't know if we fully did. I mean, a little bit spilled over um, as well. But it got better. It did. I think um, both sides were really, they're really passionate about this game. Like you said, we have, I think, 40 guys, 46 guys from the state of California, several from Southern Cal. And, um, you know, the guys, they've, they've been playing ball with each other, against each other since they've been knee high. So I think our guys realize that we're hurting ourselves that we have a chance to do something special. Uh, you know, our goal was to be 1-0 by 845, and we were compromising that with some of the things we were doing. So the leaders, the captains, the coaches, we all got together. We all, you know, we understood. We had an understanding on the way into the tunnel, through the tunnel, that we had to fix this, and we did a much better job in the second half. Well, yeah, you know, the first play, we, um, we tried a, a wide zone run. And um, the scheme that we had designed for it was designed that they really shoot and plug their linebackers in a hurry for it to come backside. But they got there in a hurry and dropped us for a two-yard loss. We didn't want to abandon it. We thought it was a good scheme. We used it later on for some good chunk yardage. But between that, between a front adjustment they had made to a certain personnel grouping we had, we had to change. We had to make a couple of adjustments. Um, we did and um, ended up paying off. Well, I don't, you know, with an offense like that, and not until that clock is really low on time, do you ever feel like, like you, you have control of the game? But I do feel that in the fourth quarter, we started taking control of it. Um, I mean, in this conference, any type of win, a one-point win or a 10-point win, you take it because it's everybody has good players. You know, it's very competitive. There's a lot of parity. So I, um, we, we don't judge it by, by, the, by the score amount. You know, we think that's a, an excellent football team we played and credit to them. And uh, we feel very happy about getting the victory. Well, they, they, they provided all the momentum. I mean, they, they took those two plays, took us in the locker room with a lot of juice and a lot of energy. Mikel, obviously, last week with the big return. Um, 
Uh, if you watch his high school tape, it wouldn't surprise you. That's what he has done. And uh, he wanted it. He wanted this opportunity to prove it. Um, after Brady's touchdown, Brady's touchdown was a spectacular play by him. Big time momentum swing. And then for them to score and us come back and take it right back on the kickoff, those two things, as you mentioned, were, were monstrous in terms of momentum. Coach, can you talk a little bit about Justin, just what you've seen over the course of the season from the time that, that camp came into play to where you guys are right now? You talked about his toughness earlier, taking that huge shot and then coming back and throwing two strikes. He's just, you know, we always talk about him being a great competitor. He's just unfazed. He really is. You know, we got a pick early on, a miscommunication between quarterback and the wide receiver, you know, right back at it. Defense holds him to three points, boom, puts together a long touchdown drive, and then a couple more, takes a shot to the leg, just keeps coming. He just, he just kind of, he's in that mode where he won't be denied. He learned a lot over the summer at the, uh, the Manning camp. He's learned a lot just from being around his teammates, and he's chosen to be a great leader for us, and he's doing a great job. Well, they played. They play with a chip on their shoulder. They truly did. Well, schematically, those there were some really good adjustments that um, that helped them out. But at the end of the day, they studied. Um, they came out here with, you know, the intent to play the best football they possibly could, and we were going to need to do that against a good football team like them, because they're excellent at wide receiver. They still made their plays. They made a ton of plays, and that team's always one play away from getting the momentum back. So, just really proud of the way that those guys practice. Really proud of the way we traveled. I thought that was one of the the best things that really stood out. Just the level of focus um, was special. Third row, right in the middle, Coach Brady. How surprised or maybe not surprised were you to see Jamon Johnson's elected performance You know, I don't think anybody in our team, when they make a play, surprises us anymore because they're making him in practice. Uh, it's great to see him healthy and playing at his potential. And you saw how special, you know, he can be in the things that he does. I mean, he really um, had himself a great game. I thought the best thing he did all week, and I know, I know everybody loves touchdowns. I get it. They're super important. I thought one of the, the best things he did this week was just text me in the middle of the night one night and said, can I be on the kickoff team to help us with kickoff coverage as a starting wide receiver? And... When you have that kind of an attitude and you have his ability and his want to and desire, then good things happen, and they certainly did for him tonight. Time for a couple more. We're going to go to Ryan here on the left. Mario, what's your interest level in the college football playoff selection show on Tuesday? Well, it's a bye week. So, I mean, our attention is on ourselves and getting, uh, and getting better, certainly improving, getting healthy as well. Got to do a lot of things. I mean, you know, it's everybody's goal at the beginning of the year. Um, so, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see what things are and, and then kind of go from there. You know, you know me well enough to, to know that I never comment about anything but the next game coming up because we could talk about all we want. If we don't play well, it doesn't matter. So we want to stay along that process, but I don't know. Let's catch up later this week and, and, um, you know, we'll see. I'm sorry. One more time. Are you pretty pleased with how you responded to that over here? Well, there's no doubt with the way that we've played, the way our team is progressing, the betterment of our team. Um, I, without question, I feel we need to be in that conversation. I mean, I'm not going to shy away from that. That's just a matter of fact. Um, and we got to keep getting better and we got to keep playing better. And there's a lot of football to be played against a lot of really good football teams. So we'll focus on that. But I guess my comment will be, yeah, well, I think we should have strong consideration in that conversation. Exceptional. Three more picks tonight. I think 17 now in the season, leading the country. How much have they grown from the beginning of the year to now? I mean, they are a very, very good secondary. I think they've been growing for two years. I think if you look at last year, game four or five, things really started turning for those guys. They are, they're physical, they're very well coached. I think both those guys, Keith Hayward, Dante Williams, do a great job with their players. They have great relationships with them, so they can grind. They get after them really, really good. Uh, they have a high level of pride. I mean, the way that they have practiced to prepare themselves for this opportunity, knowing that it was an opportunity but also a tremendous challenge, 
It, um, it is, I'm super proud of him because that's really hard to do. But part of me is not completely surprised because of just knowing them and the way they work. Thanks, okay. Thanks, guys. Good night.